So let's do question number 73. So this is also a value-based data sufficiency question. So it's given that age of each of P and Q is less than 100, but more than 10 years. Okay, that means it's a two-digit number. Basically, uh, the what they're saying is the age of P and Q, each of them are a two-digit number. If you interchange the digits of age of P, the number represents the age of Q. That means if you uh, interchange the digits of P, you are getting the value Q. That's it. So what I'm going to do is, I'm going to assume that let's the the age of P is a two-digit number. I'm assuming it as, let's say, X, Y. Okay. Where Y is the unit digit and X is the tenth digit. This is a two-digit number. So if you interchange it, that means the value of Q is going to be, if you interchange it, you are getting Y, X. Right. That means the tens place here will be the unit place here and the, the unit place y will become the tens place. So that's what they have given in the question. Now, they are asking you to calculate what is the difference of their age. So difference of their age, I need to form an equation. So it is not, let's say, the question is asking you to calculate what is the difference of age. That means if you write as xy minus yx, this is what they are asking you to find. This is absolutely not the correct way to frame it. Because if I write x, y minus y, x in an equation, x, y means you are multiplying x by y. That is not actually what they meant here by the difference, right? For that, what you need to do is, you just need to write this in, in the form of a numerical representation. That means any two-digit number can be written as by using the digits as well as its place value, okay? So the place value of x is 10's place. So it's going to be 10x plus the place value of y is the unit place, so it's going to be same as y. So this is actually the value of p. See, any two-digit number you take, let's say 25. How do you represent 25? 2 is the tens digit, right? So 2 times 10, plus you take the 5, which is the unit digit, plus 5. That's how you're getting the value 25. So any two-digit number, if you need to form or use them in an equation or frame them in an equation, what you need to represent is you should use the numerical representation form like this. 10x plus y. Minus, q can be written as same logic if I use it, it's going to be 10y. The tens digit is y plus the unit digit is x. This is how you represent q. So this is what they are asked to find. 10x plus y minus 10y plus x. So if I simplify it further, I can write it as it's going to be 10x plus y minus 10y. I'm opening the bracket minus x. So I'm combining the like terms. So it's going to be 9x, 10x minus x is 9x minus 9y, or if I take common out, 9 common out, it's going to be 9x minus 5. So this is actually, they are asking you to calculate. What is the value of 9 times x minus y? So what you need to know here is, okay, what exactly you need to know to answer the question. So if you know that, what is the difference between x and y? That's enough to answer the question. x minus y is what exactly you need to know to answer the question. Difference between the digits, x and y, if you know, that is enough to answer the question. Okay, so let's start with statement one. So I'm analyzing statement one alone. Statement one is saying that P is greater than Q. Do you think this is sufficient to answer the question? No, it's just giving the P is greater than Q, but it is not giving any information about the difference of X and Y or what is the difference in the digits. No, it's not, you don't have enough information to answer this question what is the difference of their age so statement one alone is not sufficient to answer it so option b at this stage is eliminated because option b says that question can be answered by using either statement alone we just now proved that statement one alone is not sufficient for that reason option b is will not be your answer now what i'm going to do is i'm going to analyze statement two alone okay sum of their age sum of their age means you're adding p and q so you're forming an equation. So if you're forming an equation, it is better to use this form of representation, okay? So the value of uh, P is nothing but 10x plus Y. I'm using here 10x plus Y plus the value of Q is going to be 10Y plus X. This is going to be the sum of their age, okay? The sum of their age is equal to 11 by 6 times the difference. Difference, we already know it's going to be 9 times, we already find the difference, right? 9 times x minus y. This is the simplified form of difference. So this is the equation we have. 
So I'm going to simplify it further. I'm combining the like terms. 10x plus x is 11x plus 11y is equal to 11 by 6 times 9 times x minus y. This is the final form. You can see the 11 is common. I can cancel 11 out here on both sides. And you can simplify it further. This is 3 and this is 2. Okay. Now I'm cross multiplying by 2 on both sides. So you have 2x plus 2y z equal to i'm opening the bracket 3x minus 3y okay so i'm combining the like terms so 2x i'm bringing to the other side and y i'm bringing to this side okay so we have 5y z equal to 3x minus 2x is x so from statement 2 alone the relationship we got between x and y is x is equal to 5y and we know that x and y are the digits see they're the single digit numbers okay so now can you tell me what are the possible values of x and y x is gonna be five times another digit okay x is times x is equal to five times another digit i cannot take zero because if y is zero x is also zero which is not possible we have the values of p has to be greater than 10 and less than 100 right so it cannot be zero the next possibility is y is equal to 1 value of y is equal to 1 and x is going to be 5 times of that which is equal to 5 this is one possibility that means the value of p is going to be 551 is the number 51 that is one possibility next possibility i'm going to think about is okay y is equal to 2 in that case x is going to be 10 which is not possible i cannot consider this case because x is a single digit number it's a tenth digit here right so it has to be a single digit so 10, which is not possible, so I cannot consider this case. So that means there is only one set of values that satisfy statement 2. That means the value of x is equal to 5 and y is 1. That's only possible scenario that you should consider. So that means using statement 2 alone, you got the value of p. That means you will get the value of q, which is the reverse of this, 15. And you can actually find the difference. You don't need to actually find it. It is possible, right? Because you got the value of x and y. That's enough to find the difference. See, this is what you need to find, right? The difference. 9 times x minus y will eventually give you the difference. So, statement 2 alone is actually sufficient to answer the question. So, your answer is option A. Option A says that question can be answered using one of the statement alone. That means here, 2 alone is sufficient to answer the question, but cannot be answered using the other statement alone. So, your answer is option a is the right answer th to the question so whenever you deal with any two digit number or a three digit number and you reverse it always keep in mind this is the best way to form an equation or frame an equation okay you should use the the numerical representation form